Yesterday I tried to film this video but I didn't really like the way that it turned out so I'm just gonna refilm it. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Han Bin. Recently on the 29th of March, I actually hit 1000 subscribers on YouTube. And although 1000 subscribers is not a lot, I'm actually very thankful for all the friends and people who support me through my journey and have subscribed to me. So first of all, thank you guys. And secondly, I just thought that it would be good for me to go through some of the lessons that I've learned after hitting 1000 subscribers and also run you through how I think I managed to hit 1000 subscribers. Hopefully this will help anyone out there who is trying to hit 1000 subs on YouTube. So first and foremost, I tried to provide value in the content that I make. At the start, this was actually quite difficult for me because I didn't know what value I can provide. I think many new YouTubers actually suffer from this same issue which is kind of like an imposter syndrome where you self-doubt yourself and you're not really sure whether you can actually provide value and you kind of think that you are a fraud. But I actually found a way to curb this feeling and that is to actually identify problems within your life and identify how you solve them and then afterwards make a video on the solution itself and try to share these solutions from your point of view. So take for example one of my most popular video which is my desk video. So how I came about making that video was actually when I was trying to build my desk. When I was trying to build my desk I didn't actually know how I wanted to look like and what I should buy but I know that I want to make it aesthetic. So what I did was I went onto YouTube to search for desk setups and I just tried to mirror other people's desk setup in the process. So from there I realized that there was actually a market on building desks and what I did was I made a video on how I make my desk in hopes that you know people who are trying to build their desk they will find this information useful. So that video actually did very well. I think it now has around 30,000 views. Now this goes to show that if you are able to find solutions for yourself, you should share these solutions to other people and that way people can, you know, find value in your content. Secondly, I made a plan on the type of content that I want to make. So when I first started, I didn't actually have a plan and this led to many problems. Firstly, I didn't know what to make videos about. Secondly, when I made videos, they didn't have structure. And thirdly, those videos that I made have very bad content. They definitely were not value adding. So from there, the solution I had was I planned out my videos entirely. What I did was I wrote down topic sentences onto my Notion and I just jot them down whenever I have a new idea. Whenever I have the time, I would actually look into these particular ideas and try to script it out and visualize how the video would turn out. This slowly led to a system where I can keep producing videos and each video that I make is a little bit better than the one previously made. And slowly but surely, you know, I'm getting better and better. So yeah, definitely try to plan your videos out and when you plan it, you will be able to see what went well, what didn't go well and then improve from there as well so yeah try to plan your videos so thirdly i tried to learn from other youtubers that are of similar genre so i tried to see what other youtubers are doing right and what is working well for them the goal here is not to copy them but to draw inspiration from what they are doing and in that process you try to find your own style um firstly by seeing what you like about their video and what you don't like about their video and whatever you don't like about their video find ways in which you can improve it yourself and slowly from that process you can find your own style and another tip about this moving forward is that whenever you watch a youtube video watch it twice. So watch it first as a viewer and secondly watch it again with a critical eye. Try to observe how they plan out the entire video, the storytelling process, the editing and what they did right and what can be further improved. For example, if you were bored at certain segments of a video, why were you bored? And if you were given a choice, how will you improve it? You know, this way you can actually find your own style and yeah, draw inspirations from other YouTubers of similar niche. So fourth, I aim to be consistent and this was actually quite a struggle for me as well. At the start, I wasn't consistent at all. Even making one video a week was difficult. So what I did recently was I added a date column within my Notion. This way I can plan out my videos according to dates and then subsequently space them out so that I can at least produce two videos a week. So since March, I have actually consistently consistently try to produce two videos a week and a lot of my growth actually came from March. Hopefully I will be able to keep that up for the month of April but being consistent on YouTube is extremely important especially for the YouTube algorithm. This is because if you are able to produce more videos then you reach new audience and having new audience means more subscribers and etc. This will actually help you build a community if you are being consistent. But yeah, being consistent on YouTube is super important and I cannot emphasize this enough. So fifth, I disregarded the gear and focus on content. So one thing you need to know about me is that firstly I'm a photographer and I'm also a perfectionist. So when I first started this YouTube channel, I actually spent a lot of money building the setup. I bought a lot of lights and I also bought microphones and I also kind of like bought new lenses for this camera. But when I got into YouTube, I realized that all these didn't matter because I haven't even prepared my content yet. Focus on the content and writing of the script and the storyboarding process and visualize how your entire video would play out before actually buying all these gears. Because the most important thing is actually the content, not the gears. In fact, 70% of the videos that I make actually come from my iPhone and I just use my iPhone to take the videos and most people don't even realize it. 
So yeah, content is the most important and if you think that the lack of equipment is hindering you from making YouTube videos, then you are really wrong. Content is the most important and if you focus on telling a good story, giving good value to your audience, then you actually wouldn't need all this gear. Lastly, I explored as many niches as possible and wasn't afraid to give each niche a try. Right now, there are many guides out there teaching people on how to reach 1000 subscribers and a lot of these videos mention to their viewers that they should focus on their niche and they should niche down hard. But I personally find that this is something that is very hard to do especially when you're starting out. On top of that, I feel that the space between 0 to 1000 subscribers is actually the space for you to go and explore what niche you would like to make videos about. After all, if you niche down on something that you're not really passionate about, then that would be devastating because you will be building an audience that is looking for a certain type of videos and you will not be inclined to make that kind of video. So yeah, my tip here is actually don't be afraid to explore different niche, make different kinds of video and see what you like to make. And then from there, try to see how your audience react to your videos and then slowly try to explore from there. So yeah, that's all the tip I have. I hope you find some value in this video and once again for the friends who have supported me to 1000 subscribers thank you so much i really really appreciate it and i'm also very excited for the few months ahead because i'm finally traveling and i'm gonna make a lot of travel vlogs so stay tuned for that and yeah that's all for this video be sure to like and share and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video